your diet. But apparently sausage fingers is another cause for concern. This is why doctors are worried about King Charles' health. Before her tragic death on September 8th, Queen Elizabeth left fans worried about what exactly was going on with her health. After initially canceling a trip to Northern Ireland, she spent a night in the hospital in mid-October, then was forced to cancel a major engagement — her appearance at the COP26 Climate Summit. The then 95-year-old monarch was ordered to rest for at least two weeks, according to People. There was even talk of the Queen possibly stepping down from the throne due to her health, meaning then Prince Charles would have stepped up as Britain's next king. With the enforced absence of his mother, Prince Charles is leading the royal lineup at COP26. Ultimately, that didn't happen. Perhaps because Charles had a number of obstacles to overcome before he was crowned king. A cash for honors scandal, the fact that he isn't actually all that popular in the UK, and a possible health scare of his own. In November 2021, an Instagram fan account dedicated to the royals posted images of Charles and Camilla's trip to Jordan during which they visited King Abdullah II and Queen Rania. While the comments were mostly positive, one particular image in the series shows what royal fans have been worrying about for years — the king's swollen hands. Now that he's officially ascended to the throne, the conversation is starting again. What is the cause of Charles's unusually large fingers? And should royal devotees be worried? In recent years, King Charles's swollen hands have regularly made headlines. On a trip to India back in 2019, he was photographed with red, puffy fingers, as well as swollen feet when he visited a temple barefoot. More recently, his hands raised concern during Prince Philip's funeral, with one fan tweeting, "'I've never noticed the hands of Prince Charles until this photo. Is he okay?' The monarch has repeatedly been snapped with swollen hands, and while visiting Australia in 2012, he himself reportedly quipped about having, quote, "'sausage fingers.'" So what's really going on? It's a question that's become increasingly popular, and according to Woman and Home, sausage fingers was the fourth most Googled term in the UK between July 2021 and 2022. The curiosity was so high, in fact, that the NHS actually issued health advice on the matter back in May. According to the Mirror, it honed in on edema, or a buildup of fluid, as the source of the issue. Causes of edema vary from standing or sitting for too long, to eating too much salty food, to the more serious, like blood clots or infection. But the NHS notes that in most cases, it's nothing to worry about, and swelling will go away on its own after a few days. Following the death of Queen Elizabeth II, Charles automatically became King Charles III at 73. My mother gave an example of lifelong love and of selfless service. Given his age, his ascension sparked renewed interest in his health. Dr. Gareth Nye, a senior lecturer at the University of Chester, spoke with the Daily Star soon after Queen Elizabeth's death to set the record straight about the new king's well-being. Outlining several possible causes, he also honed in on edema, which many have long believed to be the reason behind Charles' sausage-like fingers. As Dr. Nye explained, if that's the case, it's nothing especially unusual or worrisome. He told the outlet, "...edema is a common condition that mostly affects people over the age of 65, as the ability for fluid control is restricted." Another possible culprit is arthritis, which again, is a common ailment in folks over 60, and can result in swollen fingers. Whatever the reason, Dr. Nye was adamant there's nothing to fear, saying, "...there certainly aren't any immediate health concerns to be concluded from swollen fingers, and is most likely a sign of his age." Back in May, while on a royal visit to Canada, the king appeared to share an unexpected secret to healthy living — maple syrup. He reportedly said, "...it's great stuff, great stuff. It's good for you."